Ja, herzlich willkommen zur ersten Ausgabe von Get on the Stage. Wir versuchen hier gerade mal irgendwie die Moderation aufs Tape zu bannen. Ist ja nicht so, dass wir nicht schon etliche Versuche gebraucht hätten und es klappt einfach irgendwie nicht. Denn ständig verhaspeln wir uns und es passiert irgendwie sowas wie unser Nachbar, der im Hintergrund Musik hörte, eben. Und dabei laute Bässe wummerten. Darum geht es hier natürlich nicht. Hier geht es um alles, was irgendwie mit Hardcore und Punkrock zu tun hat und um jede Menge Live-Musik. Aber auch ein bisschen darüber hinaus, um Szenebetrachtungen, um Studioreports und, und, und. Ich glaube, ihr könnt es euch vorstellen. Und wir fangen für diese Ausgabe an mit Shukwans, live im Hafenklang in Hamburg. Und dazu gibt es ein schönes Interview auf der Hafenklang-Toilette. Super, das. Danach kommen die Jungs von Anchor in der Wohnwelt Wunsdorf. Schöne Live-Performance, dazu ein recht informatives Interview. Und noch die Jungs von Summer More Equal, auch live in der Wohnwelt Wunsdorf. Außerdem haben wir die Lasting Traces im Studioreport hier in der Tonmeisterei in Oldenburg. Sollte auch, glaube ich, einigen Begriff sein. Freut euch drauf. Es wird, glaube ich, eine coole Ausgabe. Es soll aber auch nicht bei dieser Ausgabe geblieben sein. Und das soll auch nicht dabei bleiben. Wir haben schon einiges vorbereitet für die nächsten beiden Ausgaben. Darunter so Sachen wie H2O, Bouncing Souls, Justin Black. Da dürft ihr gespannt sein. Wir sind es nämlich auch. Aber jetzt erstmal viel Spaß mit dieser Ausgabe. I'm Jimmy, I play drums. I'm um, Scott, I sing. I'm Zach, I play guitar. I'm Bo and I play bass. I'm missing Kelly. He's in the shower, he plays guitar. He's showering because he's filthy. <laughs> Nasty. Nasty and filthy. Nasty. This would be right at home for him. Mm -hmm. This song is called Carm Place. This stage is yours. Jump off this stage if you want to. Let's have a good time. Come on down. since I never would have seen the inside of a bathroom in Hamburg, Germany. No. Yeah. I mean, this is yeah. the real life yeah. that brings us. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Great experience. Yeah. 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 And every, every day there's a new experience waiting right around the corner. <laughs> I, I, like the, I like <laughs> both. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're both separately and maybe the mix. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. yeah. I like a good mix occasionally. Like a, a Venn diagram. Yeah, exactly. Well. A little little convergence of a uh, punk and hardcore. I don't know if um, 
Yeah. I don't know what else. That's, that's, that's the same. I'm into it. Yeah, I think you like it the most, really. I mean, uh, in, in your, uh, yeah, how about this? You're the most um, scholarly about it. I'd say that's true. I don't know. Maybe. I think you're the most scholarly. You just learned it. And it was a lot. I know, did you guys know a lot? But I feel like you, you have, with these two genres true. specifically, maybe you are the most scholarly about it. I like it. I'm okay. a fan. Can we each do one? Yeah, do we get to yeah. And then one group one time. I could, okay. Oh man. Oh, I see uh, one record and then one. And then we have to yeah. decide on. Okay. Wait, wait. I, I just name one record. Just one record. Five. It'd be your just favorite. one. And then we're gonna. I bet if we all name your favorite record, they'll all be different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guarantee it. Uh, all right. Uh, one, one, one of my top five. Yeah. Just yeah. throw one out. Yeah. Throw one out there. Doesn't matter. I'm not gonna judge you. Okay. I'll say. Lifetime, Church's Best Answers. Okay. It's a safe one. Good answer. That's fine. Right. Yeah, uh, why are you going to call me? We have to talk about these safe ones. We have to talk about these safe ones. All right, moving on. Uh, the Beatles, what else? <laughs> Get out of here. Well, in that vein, I'm going to say Nirvana and Utero. I, I really like it. I okay. agree with that. It's uh, one of the things I like. I'm going to say Weezer Pinkerton. There it is. Like that. That, yeah, I give that yeah. My favorite record of all time, Scene Points Dwindling, Jimmy at World Clarity. Whoa. Wow. All right. Now we have to come together. Yeah, now we have to collaborate on one final top one. Uh, I say... Silent Night Fever? Yeah. Dimension ah. Zero, Silent Night Fever. Silent Night Fever. No, I would have said... I'll throw on Curveball. What do you... Uh, what do we all like? Yeah, what do we all like? Oh. This is the problem. Yeah. 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 Collaborate on that. Uh, that would be my number one. Come on! Uh, Alright. In the name of everybody, send it to Real Estate Diary. There's a bit. We can't, we can't go with that. Yeah. This song's on a new record, it's called Burn On Ice. Come forward, one meter. <laughs>
a shake. Then I'm for a shake. That's true. That's it. I mean, it's um, in the Olympics. Yeah. Who, so wait, who's, who's the best ping pong player? We approach player? ping pong though from a communal standpoint yeah. rather than a competitive one. Yeah, that's why we differ on that. Yeah. That's how from he feels rules. because when he loses, it's easy for him to. Yeah, it's pretty much the to say that's the community thing. Yeah, it's just embarrassing. Ping pong is great. Yeah. Is ping pong not big in Germany? No, uh, not so. Oh, all right. See, it's, it's okay when you're on kicker. school. So kicker, yeah, kicker is way more. No See, ping -pong. it's the opposite in uh, in the U.S. Kicker is big. Like I remember, kicker was big. Yeah, like, like kids. Middle school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ping pong. It's kind of like yeah, ping pong is very old sport. Gripped me in my later years. Serious, like literary. You like hockey? You like soccer? I mean, yeah, I like hockey a lot. I like, I like soccer or football. I think all of us dabble in, yeah. in any sport. Yeah. I don't think I watch a lot of Sports Center. Yeah, I, I mean we're not good at sports. <coughs> you're not, not, good, you're sports. not good. at sports. Oh, Bo's really throwing it out. But uh, no, we're not very good. No, we're not. Yeah. We 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 have fun, and that's all that matters. Yeah, at the end that's of the day. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. Playing? You can challenge us sure. anytime we come to any city <laughs> we're playing in. Challenge right. us to any sport. Mm -hmm. I'll play Jai Lai with somebody. I'll, I'll, I'll do, do what that. Is. I believe it's called Hai Lai, but. See, that's how we experience science. That's the point I was trying to make. We'll do anything. You're talking, talking about the thing where they, they like pop the ball, they throw the ball. I think it's called high highlight. And, and people can't ball on it and yeah. stuff. Yeah. The song's called SMRT. Hey. Spiffy pickle. Is that roughly some kind of yeah. Yeah. words? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna shout out uh, Shoots and Bakery. Oh yeah, yeah. Shoots, and, Shoots and Bakery. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. The pasta bar just destroyed our lives. That yeah. was so <laughs> good. Constructive to say that it's about food or pickles or something. Well, no, no, that's I mean, what I don't we know do. Why you're I eat. Get off the seat all the time. Yeah. Chuck yeah. Williams <laughs> loves to eat for real. Yeah. Right. Like, we went to some churches. It's like playing stuff, music but, is like here, but eating is definitely, definitely yeah. Right. yeah. And the pot, yeah. Right. Enough Eddie, but enough about that. that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
In practice, yep. Yeah. Yeah. On roller skates. Cooperation over the borders. And I have this case to mix in with others, so I seem a bit more Swedish. Yeah, some blue and yellow. I call it kills to now.
most of the time, we might appear as just a punk band. You know, we play fast, fast music and we're pissed off. But that's like, that's one part of the coin, you know? We're, we're, as a band, we're also about substance. And animal liberation is, is just one of those things that we take great interest in, in singing about and talking about. And uh, it's, it's great to be playing a show that's not just about the musical aspect of this band, but also about one of the political aspects of it. So that's, that's cool. Feels good. I'm, think, I'm thinking about an Embrace song, one of my favorite songs. <laughs> Your emotions are nothing but politics. And uh, it's obviously a very big topic. Um, but you know, for me it's, it's basically just about trying to be a thinking person. And uh, you know, everything is politics. Politics is everything. It's, uh, Oh, yeah. How can our band not be political? Our, our, our band is emotional, our band is personal, and uh, it's obviously also then political. You know? Yeah, because politics is such a big word to wrap your, like, to grasp, you know, there's so many aspects of it. And um, as been said, like, if we sing about like our personal, um, like personal lives, that, that will end up as politics because like there, there's always something that that's talking about like the, like the, the world that we live in and like on a day-to-day -day basis you know and there could be something about like like actual um, like political parties or anything like that but like everything adds up to politics I guess yeah.
for a lot of different reasons, but also for a lot of similar reasons. And um, it is, it feels weird to say that it's a great deal of, of uh, this band, uh, but it is simply because it's a great part of all of our individual lives. And uh, if we can encourage anybody to look deeper into compassion for animals or veganism, that's awesome. Not necessarily through our music, not necessarily uh, through playing shows or talking about it. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Uh, but you know, just just through uh, our, our, our personal lives, day to day. That's how I've seen um, most of the influence come from. Well, yeah, well, it's the same thing there. We're, like, we're a strange band, a vegan strange band, and, like, I guess all of us have been strange for, for a variety of years, and as Matthias said, it's, like, it's also a very important, like, part of our band, since that's what we, we don't mainly sing about that, but, like, it's, it's what the band is kind of about, like veganism and strange. And, but not only that, there's a lot of other politics, but strange is very important for us for a lot of different reasons. Um, and not, maybe not for the same reasons, um, but it's all been a very big part of our lives.
Wir sind hier gerade in der Tonmeisterei und äh, neben mir sitzen die Lasting Traces Jungs, zumindest zwei von ihnen. Und Thomas, du willst uns ein bisschen was erzählen zu den neuen Aufnahmen. Ja, wie gesagt, wir haben uns wieder in der Tonmeisterei heute eingefunden, um ähm, zwei Songs aufzunehmen für eine Split 7 Inch. Hat uns das letzte Mal, als wir unsere Mini-CD hier aufgenommen haben, sehr gut gefallen und deswegen haben wir wieder Kosten und Mühen gescheut, uns wieder hier einzufinden. Und ich denke, die Songs werden ganz gut, sind fast fertig, nachher noch ein bisschen Gesang. Ja, dann wird das auch wieder. Aufnahmen für eine Split 7, das heißt mit wem, wann, wo, was können wir erwarten? Also was erwartet werden kann, sind natürlich äh, richtig krasse Hits. Ne? Ähm, ja, nee, ähm, also wir haben zwei Lieder aufgenommen, ähm, unsere Freunde von Waydown, unsere Kumpels aus Magdeburg, Oschersleben kommen sie glaube ich ganz genau, die haben auch zwei Songs au äh, aufgenommen, zufälligerweise auch hier in der Tourmeisterei und ähm, ja wie gesagt, ähm, als Vinyl 7 Inch wird released circa Ende März, Anfang April. Ähm, ja, über ein russisches Label, über ein Label aus Belgien und von uns aus der Heimat ein Kollege, der uns da noch unterstützt. Ja, hoffen wir, dass es rechtzeitig fertig ist für unsere Tour gemeinsam mit Waydown. Dass wir dann die neuen Lieder natürlich und das Volk bringen können. Super Stichwort natürlich direkt Tour. 
erzähl. Ja, genau. Warum wir uns die Mühe auch machen, weil wir ähm, um die Osterzeit, also ähm, Anfang April, für elf Tage auf Tour gehen. Und zwar ähm, hauptsächlich oder quasi ausschließlich Osteuropa, von Polen angefangen, über das Baltikum bis Russland, Ukraine, Weißrussland und dann wieder zurück über die Slowakei. Ja, und da wäre es halt schon praktisch, wenn wir die 7 Inch mit im Gepäck haben ja, und verkaufen können. Und das steht halt mal jetzt ähm, dann im Frühjahr auf jeden Fall an. Das klingt auf jeden Fall nach einer ganz guten Tour. Ihr seid unterwegs mit wem? Hattest du das gerade erwähnt? So, unsere Tourpartner sind eben auch die Wailer und deswegen passt es natürlich wunderbar. Ähm, beide Bands auf der 7 Inch vertreten, beide Bands gemeinsam auf Tour. Und ähm, ja, gucken wir, dass wir das Beste draus machen. Und wir sind halt super heiß, schon ein bisschen nervös, aber auch natürlich voller Vorfreude, weil wir keine Ahnung haben, was uns erwartet. Aber ich hoffe einfach auf viele gute, krasse Shows und äh, einfach Erfahrung und beste Zeit. Europa ist ja immer was, was man sich so ein bisschen abenteuerlich noch vorstellt oder Russland auf Tour zu gehen. Bestimmt eine interessante Erfahrung. Ja eben, um das geht's gerade. Also wir hatten ja ähm, im August letztes Jahr hatten wir schon eine Show relativ weit östlich in Polen, also schon kurz vor der weißrussischen Grenze und es war auch ganz cool, also war jetzt auch nicht so in Anführungszeichen schlimm, wie man sich es vielleicht vorstellt, sondern die sind da auch alle ganz fit und haben sich wahnsinnig Mühe gegeben und ich denke halt, wenn wir nach Moskau fahren, so also diese Großstädte, das wird halt nochmal eine Nummer krasser, aber ja. Was gibt es keinen besseren Weg, wie als Band dahin zu kommen, weil sonst wird man wahrscheinlich Moskau nie im Leben sehen. Was kommt sonst noch dieses Jahr bei Lasting Traces? Was können wir erwarten? Oh je, was kann man erwarten, das ist schwierig zu sagen. Also ähm, klar, jetzt erstmal die 7-Inch, dann natürlich gucken, dass wir früher, Sommer so viel wie möglich spielen. Ähm, genau diese Osteuropa-Tour, wie schon angesprochen. Und dann geht es Ende Juli nochmal für ein paar, also fünf, sechs Shows wahrscheinlich nach Costa Rica und Panama. Und ähm, ja, verbinden das quasi mit einem Urlaub, zwölf Tage rüberfliegen, davon die Hälfte Shows spielen. Ja, und sonst halt gucken, dass wir hier die 7 Inch äh, pro, äh, proklamieren und halt unter die Leute bringen und halt einfach so viel spielen wie geht. Und vielleicht auch mal wieder Ende des Jahres mal wieder Richtung neue Songs schreiben. Hey! 